Disgusting, greasy ass sandwich. Wednesday and we need to talk I, I'm about to leave but we need to talk first so all right so it's been a minute since I've been vlogging because I've been having so much on my plate right now that it's been insane um, I just I feel overwhelmed with all of the things that is going on between kids my personal life relationship and my businesses like school it's ending and i'm just like you know so just in case you are following me um i do have a business account on instagram and over there i decided to like update day to day second a second well not second a second but hopefully you get the point um uh, with everything that's been going on because it's been like two three weeks since i haven't loaded a vlog and my goal was to have at least two vlogs a week i have completely failed i'm worse than before Be at least before i was having one vlog a week you know but yeah, I've been like, it's been a lot. Um, I already loaded all the content that I had so far. So that way I can start editing today. But today I'm free, I don't have to go to work. And I finally have all the kids in school. Chanel spent Monday and Tuesday here because she was sick. So today I put a ton of medicine on her and I took her to school because my mind like, and I was thinking about going to the mall later, but I wanna go now. So I can distress. I want to go, I want to walk, I want to be alone, no kids, no nothing, and just do something without the stress of having the kids. And I put my mind together and try to figure things out because whatever is happening right now, it's not working. So I need to figure things out personally, um, career-wise, relationship-wise. One good thing is that I've been really in my zone of work. I work on my personal um website i've been working on my personal brand i've been i work on the app i have the app now of my website i didn't realize i thought i had the app but i didn't it turns out and like i'm doing something super excited over there and the best it was it, the best thing i could do was to have the app period so long since i don't vlog i'm not even sure if i did the intro um it is saturday and one of my best friends is here in puerto rico so i'm on my way to see her right now and we're also gonna hang out with another friend 
um, we used to be all like really um, tight together but ever since like everybody got their life together even though one of them is still here in Puerto Rico we haven't like hang out or nothing so it would be really nice to catch up with her too so yeah I am on my way first I'm gonna stop in the bank and get some cash out I have this bad habit of never having cash with me and if I was in the US I would never have a problem with never having cash but I'm in Puerto Rico and in Puerto Rico you always need cash that's the hard sad true so um yeah i'm gonna stop in the bank and then we're gonna meet in a gastro park um where it's a place where there's a few food trucks and you can um go like with a group of friends or family and you have choices so we also want to go after that to a little vintage place um maybe i have seen it but i don't know what they're talking about i don't know nothing about my town um so yeah, people ask me about shit of my town and I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. So we ended eating on a different restaurant called El Red, El Red Flamboyan. Um, I had mofongo, of course. And now we're going to this other place um, where everything... Um, now I know what she was talking about. This place is all vintage, like pink and shit. So we're gonna go and see. Sunday and is that her she changed cars anyway um, it is Sunday and today it's been a crazy day because today I had to go to work but it took way longer than usual because they were doing a remodel and instead of leaving at 2 I left at 4 and we were supposed to have get at guest at 3 so we were in a hurry um, the place looked so amazing like the before and after are insane but yeah i was supposed to go out with my girls i have it is 5 14 right now and i haven't eaten nothing i'm starving and i'm finally with my girls now but yeah it's been crazy it's been rush and i need food so we are in a cheesecake shop i think they also have like pizzas and stuff over there so let's just go eat and have some girl time because i really i really need it so that's her ma that's her I know. workout and I was so excited that it was kind of cloudy because girl it's getting hot here in Puerto Rico like hot so I was so excited and now the sun is out now that I hate you I'm grateful for you but I don't want to work out in the sun like that's literally my workout area it's right there behind that window and there's the sun and like I cannot go also in the mornings anymore I think I'm gonna have to move it I think I'm gonna have to move more to the front because in the mornings the sun is there and before it wasn't there so i guess because of the sun it's a new season and the planet it's moved i don't know but yeah in the mornings the sun is there and, and now in the afternoon it's there too so now i'm finding hard to find an hour where i can do my workout without dying so 
Um, I also did want to change my workouts in the afternoon because I noticed in the, my mornings, I just don't have time. I just don't have time to do all the things I want to do. Like if I do my morning rituals, like self-care, mental health rituals, um, in, that includes my workout, journaling, meditating, um, reading a book. Um, I have kids. So now we are in school break, but with school and all that stuff, and then I me mean, having to go to work at 11 a.m., I was really not being able to have like three or four hours for me to like dedicate to my business, sit down without interruption, without looking at the clock. Oh my God, what time is it? I need to go to work or nothing like that. So I wanted to change the, at least the workout, which takes me an hour almost between getting ready, having my protein shake and doing the workout. It's an hour. I, maybe if I do the work on the afternoon, I was going to have an hour extra to do work on my business, but it's getting hard for me to do it in the afternoons. Okay. So let me see what I can do. Maybe I can do apps and if I do apps, I can do it in my room. my age it's literally killing me right now holy hangover holy headache oh my gosh mm. i went out last night and i drank too much i haven't drank like that in a while years probably listen when i went out when i went on vacation last year on the cruise yes i was drinking every day and getting tipsy but i was never like getting drunk like i like getting drunk and yesterday i was like already like walking <laughs> sideways like holy shit and now <laughs> oh i have a huge ass headache but anyway i had some oatmeal i did not wanted it but i pushed it because we need to you know we need to recuperate um and now i'm drinking a protein shake and yeah now i need to get ready to go to work it is wednesday it is wednesday? yeah last week i had plans i was supposed to so, so this is the story my dad bought an apartment on a whole other town like a beach apartment but he bought it with my sister so they both the owners of the apartment and my dad i know my dad and he's like whenever you need to get away 
like get you mine out of things and whatever like just let me know and i will let you know if nobody's gonna be there and you can go no problems um so i talked to him i say hey i checked my schedule and it will be good um if i can go from a wednesday to a friday so so far everybody's gone even my other sister stayed there with her husband but of course when it comes to me you know there's always got to be something so um, the same day after I packed my shit and everything, the same day that I'm going over there, my sister is texting me that she was supposed to go um, the next day over there. So I wanted to have, I was supposed to go on a Wednesday because I only have one cleaning. So I was going to get out of work early so I can go early and be by night already over there. And then the next day, which was a Thursday, I could be there all day without worrying, without packing, without nothing and just chill with the kids and they can be in the pool all day. And you know, we can just relax. And then the next day, because I also had just one small cleaning to do, I can still have time to sleep a little bit and just leave the apartment and come back relaxed with no hurries. And then she told me that the day that I was supposed to be chilling over there, she was also gonna go there. And I'm like, okay. But the thing is that she texts me and she says, do not use the master because I'm going over there tomorrow and I'm staying there. And I'm like, fine, I won't use the master. So, next thing i know i'm um, she's telling me oh and in the other room um amy is living there because all of us do not fit in one bed um so maybe chanel can sleep with her and that's when i was like okay fuck it i'm not going your apartment it's all yours okay the attitude like basically like i'm the owner so fuck you like you know when i ask first like i ask is anybody there and she said no and then when i'm going there then she decides she wants to go and kick me and my kids out like it's we are five like me and my kids are five and it's only a three bedroom apartment so if you're kicking me out of two rooms like you know so i was like keep your fucking apartment so my dad was doing a work here in my bathroom and he was like at what time are you leaving and i told him what happened and he was like what and i'm like yeah and he's like, but maybe you can still go from one day and leave Thursday. And I'm like, the whole purpose of me leaving today was to tomorrow I don't have to go to work and I can be there all day, nice and chill. But now I have to leave tomorrow. So what's the fucking point? I go, like, I'm so, and he was like, let me see what I can do. And I was like, don't do fucking shit because that's our apartment. And it, it's always the same. When it comes to me, there's always a problem. If it was my other sister, she wouldn't do that shit to her. But because it was me and my kids, you know, we basically got kicked out. So, anyway, the point is that my dad, by coincidence, was going today from a Wednesday to a Friday um, to the apartment. And he said, you know what? Um, if you want, you can go with us. You know, you're not a bother to us. You will always be welcome from my hand. I'm like, I know you're not the problem. I know the issue is not with you. It's with the other person in question. And, like, I... I I wouldn't be pissed if you know I, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable like I, it comes to the point where I'm not even gonna ask ever again to stay there you know if this is the first time I ask for something this is why it's, it's so hard for ask for help or, or or favor or anything because I never fucking asked for any fucking favor and when I finally did this should happen to me like and my dad was like no you're coming with me next week you're not working just chill and also we're gonna be there so now you're not gonna be alone with all the kids and now you're gonna have help and you can relax a little bit and i'm like okay so yeah it is almost three o'clock and now i just finished packing i just had lunch i came from work i organized the house a little bit so now i'm gonna go to arecibo that's like an hour and something drive <laughs> it's almost traffic time as well so i need to get the hell out of here too like asap because i need to chill I need to chill, so let's go. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful baby girl. She's so big now, look at her. She already can stand up, almost stand up by herself in the bed. Look at, oh my goodness, I know you're strong. I know you're strong, mama. Hi. <laughs> so she turns around already and she pulls herself up. So she's getting stronger and bigger every day. She's getting bigger and bigger every day. Oh. Alrighty. Who's ready to go? Me. Who's ready to go? 
sobre todo si sí. Ah, pues sí, sí se quiere quedar aquí. ¿no? Little little stop. Of course we have to. Bye, bye. Okay, la rellena de nutella esta. This is the invisible donut. Mm. Today I'm trying a new donut. Today I'm trying a cinnamon cheesecake. What's the other? Ah, she is good. But we are 17 minutes away from our stop. And mm -hmm. I was just gonna pass through, pass by Krispy Kreme, and I was like, <laughs> we need to stop. And of course, I had a cappuccino? Coffee. Hey, iced coffee. I had an iced coffee on caramel flavor. Mm. Mm. Hello, so we made it. Mm. We're about to go walk around. This fucking headache away. She's taking forever to do it thing. Cause girl, I had to go to work. It's about to be 11, it's 10, 50 a.m. And I had to go to work. But anyway, I, yeah, I'm hungover. And I try to go to a freaking bakery to order this disgusting, greasy ass sandwich. Like every time I'm hangover, I need grease. I need greasy sandwiches. So anyway, I went to get me one of those disgusting sandwiches and she was like, yeah, the waiting is 40 minutes. And I'm like, forget it. Bye, because I had to go to work. I can't wait in the car 40 minutes. So I ordered a iced coffee because ya hice la focalina. I already made the line. So I had to order iced coffee and this bitch tastes like fucking heaven. Mm. Oh, Lord. Anyway. I ended in freaking Burger King. Exactly what I did not want it. I wanted a fresh, this delicious, disgusting sandwich. But I don't have time, so. So yesterday, girl, I was supposed to go out with the guy. And like always, he back up. So, um, so yeah, yesterday I went out with um, one of my girlfriends and we were like until 3 a.m. Girl, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel terrible. But it was so good, like, you know, we were like catching up. She's one of the friends that I really haven't like really hang out in years and like we spent um, a few um, days together with one of my girlfriends. We finally catch up now after five years and we were like hanging out a couple weeks ago but we were like us just us two together because we are a group of five girlfriends 
So it was nice to just be like me and her catching up and talking and like getting that bound back. The good thing is that it also feels like it hasn't been that many years. Like the, and those, those, that's when you know that's a friendship, like a real friendship. That it doesn't matter like how many years pass by. I'm talking too loud and I'm starting to have a headache. It doesn't matter how many years pass by. When you see them, it's like nothing like time hasn't passed by like you can still connect and talk with them with the same comfort that you used to do when you were seeing each other every day and i had really interesting conversations with her yesterday it was really nice so yeah i had to go to work <laughs> I had to go to work and i do have a lot of work today i have three clinics today and i'm pretty sure it's all of the biggest one all of the biggest ones i had to clean today so I also had a situation yesterday with the guy and I will admit I could have done better. I know he did me wrong. He did me wrong. But at the same time I could have done better. I could have reacted different. I could have called him and like be honest, hablar claro and say no, this is what's really going to happen and I didn't do that. I started a fight <laughs> and I should have done better. But you know what? We're working. We're working on being better every day. You have to admit. I haven't admitted to him yet. Probably I won't. But listen. <laughs> At least to be honest with yourself and try to be better. You know, you have to admit to yourself when you do something wrong. When some Like right now, I know I'm struggling. I know I have depression and all that stuff. And when you admit things like that, that's when you can actually make a change and improve. But if you don't admit you allow proud to get over you your ego you're not gonna get better because you're not admitting when something is wrong and you're gonna keep making the same mistake over and over again and then you either never work out with the guy or in my case i could also like stay depressed and be even worse than what i already are i know depression is something that not everybody likes to admit or whatever and you have to admit so that way you can get help and that way you can get better and that way you can start enjoying your life again so oh, the horses oh, i love my town look how beautiful the day is today and all right guys so i going to leave this vlog over here now um i know this vlog was a little bit like all over the place like this was literally like <laughs> a month of content almost a month um but i wanted to catch you up on like where i was where i've been um if you watch my last vlog you will understand the messiness of this one um i filmed the last vlog in between this vlog that it's right here so um in case you don't know i talk about um how i've been struggling with depression and a few things that had happened um so i share that vlog and now like i was thinking about deleting all this content and like starting all over but i was like there's good things going on in here so maybe i can share it and um, catch you up on where i've been so now we can start a lot so talking about that i was looking at a vlog today and i saw about how this vlogger is gonna do like a mid-year series so she's doing a mid mid-year um reset diaries um and I was thinking like, I am basically like in the same space as her. She struggled a lot with a lot of things and now she's trying to get her life back in track. And that's exactly what I've been doing already. Um, but I wasn't like documenting or sharing like a little series with you guys. So I decided to copy her <laughs> and do a little series with you. So I'm gonna share the details on the next vlog but we are gonna be focusing on the things that i'm gonna be doing to getting my life back together because um i've been struggling with depression and i'm still figuring it out if it was postpartum depression uh, my baby turned six months yesterday and when i share on my last vlog about me struggling with depression and all that stuff a lot of people came to me and they told me hey you just had a baby so maybe yes you do have depression but it's postpartum depression and i haven't like still take the time to sit down and figure it out if that's the problem that i was having but no matter what i'm in a reset in my life so instead of like mid year reset it will be like getting my life back together kind of diaries um and reset because i basically lost myself 
and I'm, I'm starting a new lifestyle like I'm, I'm starting a lot of new things I'm having a social life now I wasn't having a social life my life is different now I'm in a whole different space mentally um, emotionally so but yeah I decided to do like a little series of me getting like my life back together and discovering the new me because I am not the person that I used to be um, a year ago like I was okay with the life that I was having years ago a year ago um, before I got pregnant with my baby another thing that we're gonna be working is my career I lost my passion I lost my vision I lost everything that I wanted to do for my business and for who I want to be and what I want to do so we're gonna be working on getting that back um, but I knew that I first needed to work with myself first I need to work with my mental health my physical health my energy so that way I can then get back into the things that I love so anyways I'm super excited about that um thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you get notified when the new videos comes by and i will see you on the next one bye for now